earlier this week. I had somebody approach me in public. Somebody that I barely knew. An acquaintance. Somebody that knows me through somebody else. And they came with an issue in, in their mind. And they said, Greg, could you pray for me about this issue? And I said, sure, we can pray right here and now, because clearly if this is a serious enough issue that you're asking for prayer, it's something that needs to be addressed immediately. But first, I want to ask you a question. And the person answered, what was that? question I ask is, can you believe that God has already answered your prayer and you just haven't heard about it yet? And the person said, no, I can't. We haven't prayed for it yet. I said, but you were seeking me out, were you not? And they said, yes. Said, you knew in your heart that I have some amount of authority where it comes to offering up prayers. Otherwise, why would you come to me? And the person looked down at the ground and kind of nodded their head and said, Yeah, you, you, have, you have some authority. And I said, And you had it on your heart as you come to me that you would ask me to pray for you. And in doing so, you unknowingly was uplifting a prayer to God of your own. And doing so in my authority. Because you were doing so in my name, hoping that I could help. And they went, yeah, I can see your point. And I said, you do realize that my authority comes because I am under his authority, the authority of Jesus Christ. And that anything that we ask of him in prayer, and we do so in faith, that that prayer would be answered if it is in within the will of God that it do so. And they went, yeah. So, I tell you, your prayers have been answered. Take it in faith. And that person lit up with this great smile and went on his way happy. Now, I don't know why I approached the situation in the way I did. It is not typically my way of handling a prayer request. But I wanted to share it with you that the person that he was seeking prayer for was healed. And that person was healed because the Holy Spirit passed faith through me to this person. That there is power in prayer. And that there is authority in prayer. 
when you go before the throne of God, you go before him as a priest. You go before him with the authority to be there because of the blood of Jesus, which has provided a covering and a sanctification and a justification for you to be able to do so. So, I now ask you, do you pray under the authority of Jesus Christ? And if not, maybe that's why your prayers are not answered. <laughs>